In this video, we're going to talk about the discounted pricing. So we're here in your product two, and what we're going to do is set this to 99, or we'll just say $59, and we'll go ahead and click Save Changes, and then go to the front and take a look at it real quick. Let's also get rid of our custom fields, just to keep things a little cleaner. And then we'll refresh over here. So we got a $59 product, and that's it. So let's go take a look at the pricing levels. We'll go to special pricing levels, and we'll see here we have discounted price level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, discounted setup cost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the recurring price level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Recurring pricing is for products that have recurring pricing. An example of that is our product, our software, the store, is basically a recurring pricing product. We actually use our software for the store that you guys interact with when you're taking placing orders with us. And we have the product set up on recurring price levels. We're only going to focus on the discounted pricing level, and we're going to say discounted price level 1 is the wholesale price, and discount price level 2 is the reseller price. So we have a $59 product, and we want to say the wholesalers get it for $49, and the resellers get it for $39. So we'll go ahead and click Save Changes, and then we'll go to the front of the store and click Refresh, and oh, nothing happened. Well, the reason for that is right now we're logged in as the admin, and the admin's pricing level is set to nothing. So let's take a look at the back end, and we're going to go into customers real quick. And I'm going to open this up in a new tab here. And I've already created two customers, one reseller and one wholesaler, so that we can take a look at the pricing level. And what I'm going to do is open up the web page in another browser so that we can log in with another customer at the same time. So we're going to go here, and then we're going to click on My Account, and then log in as the Wholesaler, and log in, and we log in here, and now we're going to go to Your Product 2, and we see our price here. Well, I never set the pricing level, so let's do that real quick also. So we'll go into Jake Wholesaler, record 10 here, and we'll set up the wholesaler as level 1, so we'll click on special privileges and under pricing discount level we'll set it to 1. Click on save changes and now if we go to the front of the store as the wholesaler and refresh we'll now see members price $49, our price $59. Members price is just like the custom fields, that's actually what that was there for under custom or under special field. Discounted pricing level. So we'll go back there and we'll click on special pricing level and on the pencil we set the first one to wholesale so we're going to call this wholesale price and then this one we're going to call resellers price click on save changes if we go to the front we see wholesale price and if we logged in as a reseller we see reseller price and that's all there is to discounted pricing levels.